All right, guys, the final part that I have to do is the flex discs, center support, transmission mount on it. I already started removing everything. As you can see, the car is on jack stands and four jack stands. Man, I don't know how it looked, but I've been doing lots of work to this car. I'm trying to put it all back together, test drive it, and then wash it. And then hopefully tomorrow in the morning, I can take it to the car meet, hopefully. All right, guys, this is how everything looks here. As you can see, flex discs are completely trashed. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit so you guys can see a little bit, but they're original Mercedes-Benz uh, flex discs. And this was the transmission mount, it's also original. If you squeeze it, it's gonna have a bunch of cracks. This is definitely not good. And the rear flex discs, uh, rear flex disc isn't any better. All right, so here is the drive shaft. It's out. Flex discs are original from the 80s. They're completely destroyed. That is so horrible. And I feel like somebody has been here before. So this is also original from the 80s. Same flex disc. But I think this was replaced at some point. And when they replaced it, they didn't align this drive shaft properly. Because... As you can see two marks here and there's no mark here but when you turn it when you turn it keep turning it keep turning it there's a mark there's number one somewhere i saw oh there you go right here there's a mark and it's not lined up with those two so that's not good they have to be lined up Somebody didn't put it back the right way. I don't know. I have to message the owner to see if he had the vibration on the highway. Yeah. All right, guys. So these are the brand new flex discs. That's what they look like. Phoebe made in Germany. These are original ones from the 80s. Pretty horrible condition, but it's, it's pretty amazing, you know. 40-year-old car. It's pretty awesome. Wow. And I can guarantee you that would still be okay for a while even though they're showing all these cracks and threading. New transmission mount, old. All right, we got the drive shift all assembled as it should now. Those two marks, they line up perfectly with these, uh, with this mark. That's the way it's supposed to be. And I got a new boot for this drive shaft and I got new drive shaft, center support and bearing and everything. This is the old one. This is actually original Mercedes, really interesting. The bearing and the center support and the boot was totally gone. All right, guys, we have a brand new flex disc installed right here. And uh, if we go right here, there's the new center support bearing, dust boot right there. It's really awesome. Here's another flex disc in the back. Everything is torqued properly and I already checked the movement of this drive shaft. Everything moves nice and smooth, all good to go. All right, everything else is wrapped up. The transmission mount is also brand new, installed. Okay guys, this is the next day. We finally got uh, a control arm. It's actually, it's been like one day. The day is Monday, so we finally got a control arm. And this is actually a good brand control arm. And this is basically, we're gonna replace only this control arm, not the other on, on the other side, because this is the only one that's the most problematic. Uh, as you can see, a bunch of play and it's pretty loose. The other side is getting there, but it's not there yet. So we're gonna leave that side as is right now because we're getting, we're running out of time. So uh, that's basically the goal today. We have to replace this control arm, put everything back together. And we're almost done with this car, guys. The final thing will be, Fluid film! Old one is out. This is original. So before I install the new control arm, I have to sand down this rust, treat it, paint it, and protect it. It's very important on W126s and W123s.
Now we're gonna put rust dissolver on it, let it soak and all that. All right guys, now I'm doing something really important. Fluid filming everything here underneath the car. Brake lines, fuel lines, so it will never ever rust and go bad. It's amazing. Just be careful with the rubber, wipe it off of the rubber. You know, you don't want to get it on the rubber. But metal, all this is good. All right, guys, so I cleaned this very, very well from rust. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put grease here and everything, protect it even more. And then we're gonna install the control arm back. All right, this is how it looks after treating it, painting it, making it nice. And I'm gonna put grease now and install the control arm. Right here, all greased up. There you go, there you go. brand new. Yeah. Finally, she's back, almost ready. Just doing a couple more things to this baby. She's back on the road. All right, guys, now we're doing the test drive now. We have this amazing 1984 500 SEC. I spent a long time fixing this car up. Still needs some work. And we're gonna give it a car wash here in a little bit, but it feels amazing. I have to adjust the alignment a little bit, but oh my gosh, what an amazing legendary car. We also wired the radio in, so he's gonna have a, an old school pioneer playing. So <laughs> Look at that. We rinsed her off. She looks a lot better now. Finally, she's back to life. The one who can drive it. Well guys, after all the repairs are done, we're driving this baby home. She's clean, she's amazing. She still needs some work done here and there, but she's an amazing car and I'm super proud of this car. So, super awesome. Big thank you to my friend Erwin for giving us the garage space to do a lot of work on this car. It was crazy. I've been working on this car for a while now, probably like over five days. All right, guys, we're almost there. The 126 is doing amazing. No issues, no overheating, nothing. She's awesome. And yeah, we're almost home. Cutie pie. We gave it a, a little wash too, so she's not as dusty anymore. And she's home. She made it safe and sound. Well, guys, there she is. We did so much work to this amazing machine lots of work but i really really hope you guys enjoyed the video series and everything on this amazing machine she's home safe and sound the owner will be enjoying it and doing some more work here and there beautiful amazing machine what a transformation i wish i had more time to polish these uh reverse lenses out so they can look a lot cleaner but it's still so nice Home sweet home. Mm. Cuties. Look at this amazing machine. You guys remember this from the videos last summer? Yes, 
she's still good she's doing good this is the you know parts car but we will be taking a you know taking this car apart and getting it all ready it's not never too many parts you know for these cars so we have to save all these things and the engine too that'd be great to save that but yeah that's his amazing car